Hey, what's up, boys? I've had a lot of people asking about how I made my jump throw bind in CS2, so I decided to make a quick video on how I did it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go ahead and create a new text document. You can name this whatever you like. I'm going to name mine binds because I already have one made currently. And once you name your text document, you're going to go ahead and open it up. And I'm going to leave this command down below. You're just going to go ahead and copy and paste in what I have. And if you want, you can get rid of these interp ratio and interp settings. But I recommend these to make hit registration a lot better. And as for the bind for your jump throw and run jump throw, you can go ahead and change whatever key you want it to be here. I have mine bound to V and X because that's what's comfortable for me. But you can change it to whatever you'd like. And so now once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and hit save as. And then you're going to go ahead and need to change it to all files. And then add .cfg at the end of your file name. And then you can go ahead and save it. And you can go ahead and close that. Okay, and once you make your new CFG, you're going to go ahead and need to open up your file explorer. Navigate to whatever drive you have your program files x86 or whatever file, whatever drive you have your Steam files in program files x86 and then steam and then steam apps common counter-strike global offensive and then you go to instead of going to csgo you go to game and then you go to csgo and then cfg and this is where you're going to go ahead and drag in your binds here it's going to be dragged in here it should say cfg file on the side And now once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and need to go into your Steam itself. You're going to need to go to Properties. You're going to need to go down to Launch Options. And then mine says Auto Exec here, but if yours is whatever yours is named, you can type plus exec space and then whatever you have yours names. But mine is going to be Auto Exec. And now once you do that, you can just close out of that. Okay, and now once you have that all done, you can go into game and you can test out your binds, whatever it's bound to. You can just press that bind and it'll make you jump. There's my forward jump throw. There's my normal jump throw. If you found this helpful, please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. But that's all for me. Good luck. Have fun.